Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the card review series. So today we're going to be looking at that new Primal Origin Korean exclusive card. It is called Elder God Odin. It is a level 4 water fairy type fusion effect monster. It has 2000 attack and 2200 defense. And it is fused with two synchros or and or two XE monsters. Alright, well, before I even get to this effect, that's never going to happen. That that that's such a terrible, terrible play that it wouldn't even be worth the trouble or the neg. <laughs> because you think about it. To synchro summon, a minimum to synchro summon, you're neg you're a neg one. Because you're taking two monsters and turn them into one. So that's a neg one. Same thing with Xe. You're taking two monsters and turn them into one. So you're still a neg one. So you're taking these two monsters that you've already negged one and then fusing them into one monster. Therefore you're taking two monsters plus your polymerization. So that's three for once. So you're neg twoing. So in total, you're what, neg 5? Neg 5 to pull this off correctly? No, that's never going to happen. But yet, this card is still really, really good, and almost to the edge of being really format-changing and game-breaking, of course, if Soul Charge didn't exist, then definitely this card would be, like, the go-to card. So I'm going to go ahead and read its effect, and you guys will start to understand where I'm coming from. So the effect is, when this card is special summoned, you can target one level 4 or lower monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. If the effects are negated, when this card leaves the field, banish that target. And you're thinking like, okay, so it kind of like has some little monster born effect for level 4 as a lower. Okay, what, what the hell makes that so good? What, how does that make that relevant at all? Because you just said it was crap. And, the, and, the, and using 5 resources to fuse this, obviously that's crap. Go back and remember what I said. What, I say, what, what level did I say this card was? Yeah, level 4. Level 4 fusion. Hmm. Now, what card loves to summon level 4 fusions? You know, uh, you know, some people like to do it for that Carabana Warrior. And, you know, I think a Herpy Lady deck did it with some level 4 bird or something. Um, hmm. Hmm. I think even maybe a little bit of uh, Archfiends. I think they like to use the card too. I mean, not Archfiends, Infernity. So, uh, maybe Insta Fusion? Hmm. Yeah. So, you can go Insta Fusion, summon this guy. His effect goes off, because it, it, it doesn't say when it's summoned properly, it just says when it's special summoned, period. So even if it's in the graveyard and you call the haunted back, it was special summoned. You get the effect, target level 4. Or lower in the graveyard. Hmm, level 4, and it's level 4, so... Wait a minute, don't... Can I exceed? Can I... Yeah, hmm. Did I just turn Instafusion into a wolf bark for everybody? Yeah. Yeah, you just did. That's really great. Also, keep in mind if you know you throw tossing a little bit of tuners up in there, it just says level four or lower. It doesn't have any stipulations like you know, like a uh, the breeze drag or anything like that. So you know, if you want to and you have a level four tuner in the grave, or you know, level four tuner or lower, you can just go summon this guy. It summons back the level four or lower tuner, synchro summon. So definitely, this plus instafusion would definitely be, like I'm saying, if Soul Charge never existed, because I know you're probably thinking, like, okay, well, I can activate Insta Fusion, pay a thousand, and summon this, so I can activate Insta Fusion, or I could, you know, use Soul Charge. I'm just saying. Soul Charge gets banned. This card comes out in the TCG, because, like I said, it's a Korean exclusive. We're looking at some really, really powerful plays on our hand, besides Soul Charge, you know. It's just like, Insta Fusion literally just turned, it turned into a wolf bar for everybody. Everybody who has level four or lower, which is you know a good majority of everybody, so you know just being able to just activate Instafusion, pay a thousand, and then go into an XC, which would be a more general play than going into synchros, but still, it being level four, the monster you're being able to summon being level four, go into an XC, activate Call of the Haunted, bring this back, it activates, summon another level four, going back into another XC. It's just a really really powerful play, and. If uh, Soul Charge ever gets banned and this card comes out here in the TCG, then we are actually looking at a very format-defining card. Like I said, not the fusion part, because, you know, fusing two synchros and or, and or two XCs to make this is totally not worth it. Definitely not. But with Insta Fusion, definitely. And um, if this were to ever happen, if Soul Charge were to get banned and this card would come out in the TCG, I, I definitely could see maybe a limiting of soul, tr I mean, of Insta Fusion. I mean, it's not. This isn't the first time that Insta Fusion has really been putting in that work. So, you know, we 
we've always just been looking for an excuse to, you know, bring this card into relevance and, you know, pass judgment on it. And I think that um, this card would definitely be putting the Insta Fusion into the spotlight. So it's definitely not this card that's the really good key part in the plays. It's definitely Insta Fusion. So just being able to do that play with Soul Charge being banned and, you know, this being the new hot thing, um, I could definitely see, uh, you know, Konami putting down Insta Fusion down to one. So tell me what you guys think about this card. I think it's very powerful, format defining, but once again, we have Soul Charge, so no one's going to give two craps if this card ever comes out because, you know, why should I just pay a thousand just to summon uh, this fusion and summon level four when I can just, you know, activate and its effects and, and the monster that summons that with this card's effects and negate it, or I could just activate Soul Charge and just bring it back in its effects and negate it and I could special summon other monsters and, you know, you know I'm not even going to get started on that card. I'm going to leave it alone. This is about... Elder God Noden, it is not about Soul Charge. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, card review discussion episode, whatever. Uh, you know, support your this series. Show your support by giving this a like and all the other episodes a like. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next episode, being Thursday, with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.